Alrighty, so as has become typical in my making these tutorial videos for my bring back, I made a mess for myself in the last video we released, and I'm going to spend a couple of videos cleaning it up to be more explicit with you. We made a use of and briefly mentioned a couple different new pieces of knowledge in Python uh, that we hadn't shown you before in that last series of videos, and now we're going to try to flesh those out. So first and foremost, we're going to address the subject of dictionaries in Python. These are not too terribly complicated. It is a different sort of data structure you can store information in given certain conditions, so we'll tell you those conditions and look at how you might use a dictionary here next. So in introducing you to dictionaries, the first thing I want to do is to read you a very small part of the documentation for Python of this, and this really helped me understand how these things work. It reads as follows, it is best to think of a dictionary as an unordered set of key value pairs with the requirement that the keys are unique. So that sounds a bit abstract, but if we take a look in practice, it's not too wild. What you have here is a dictionary we're going to instantiate called bring back dict. And it is a dictionary that has keys and values. And each key is one of the folks that uh, is on our team here by bring back. And then the value associated with that is their favorite color. So this dictionary has just four entries in it and I wanna create it and then show you a couple things and modify it and show you a couple more things. So let's go ahead and run this. And of course it doesn't spit anything out to console, that's fine, but we can take a look at it. it. Comes out, one of the first thing you'll notice is that it appears in a different order than we instantiated it in. And, and I couldn't tell exactly why it happens this way, but what's important to realize is that this isn't a numerically ordered list like we've looked at previously. This is a dictionary, and it's not ordered. It's just indexed by keys. So if you wanted to look at a specific part of it, look at just a, a one item from it, you couldn't say something like, oh, let's look at you know the third item in there or the, the item in, in position three. It would say key error. There's no key three in there. You'd have to have to uh, index it by one of the keys in there. So if you look at Joel, Joel's favorite color is purple. So that's a big difference between dictionaries and lists there. They're not ordered and they're indexed by their keys, not by positions. All right, and if you remember, it said the keys had to be unique and that causes dictionaries to have a couple pieces of behavior that's worth knowing about. So let's say that Trav tells me his favorite color is red, but later changes his mind and we want to say Trav's favorite color is orange now. Now, if we look, that has the same key as something that's been previously entered. So if we go ahead and save this, run this again, and to the dictionary, it doesn't throw us any errors, doesn't give us any problems. Well, shucks, maybe it, it worked. Let's look at this. And if we do, we'll see there's only one entry for Trav, and he has orange now. So it overwrote that previous uh, key value association. And if we index it to Trav, it's still just going to give us the value orange. So that's worth knowing. It's only going to associate one value with each key and it'll overwrite uh, silently if you give a new value for one of the keys that's already in there. So that is the case for keys but not for values. Let's say that everybody except for Jake's favorite color is now orange. If we save this, we're not going to have any difficulty and, and uh, things can be indexed that way. Okay, so that is a very, very basic look at dictionaries. There's a lot more to it, but that's enough to give you an understanding such that if we have to make use of them in future videos, you'll at least know what I'm talking about. So, again, this is Ed from my Bring Back. Keep coming back. Keep learning on your own. Keep asking us questions. Keep bringing us things. Keep subscribing and keep sharing with your friends, and we will do our best to keep it entertaining.